Are you preparing for the Praxis Algebra 1 exam, which is exam code 5162? Do you need some help with number and quantity, probability and statistics? If so, then this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Tom and I'm a retired teacher and test prep expert here at study.com. And I'm gonna walk you through some of the types of problems you may see. So let's get started. Problem one. If the correlation coefficient between two linearly associated variables x and y is negative 0 0.30, which of the following can be used as an appropriate interpretation of the correlation coefficient? What is the correlation coefficient? So the correlation coefficient tells me how closely related the variables are x and y. So if we had a scatter plot of some data values, the closer your correlation uh, coefficient is to positive one, the more tightly packed the data is forming a line. So if your correlation coefficient is, is not near one, what we're gonna have is we're gonna have uh, an association that may not be close to that line of best fit. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna eliminate are choices C and D. So choice C, and D talk about the variables X and Y um, causing a change or a reduction 30% of the time. So the correlation coefficient has nothing to do with the change or reduction of the variables. So I'm gonna eliminate choices C and D. The key difference between choices A and B is this co uh, correlation coefficient. So we're talking a negative correlation co uh, coefficient. So it says it's negative 0.30. Well, if it's negative, that means it is an indirect relationship. So in other words, as the X gets bigger, the Y gets smaller, or as the X gets smaller, the Y gets bigger. So it would not be a direct relationship. So that means that choice B is a direct relationship, so that's eliminated. So in this case here, the correct answer is choice A. Problem two. The average radius of an atom is about 0.15 nanometers. What is the order of magnitude of the radius of the atom? All right, so when we talk about order of magnitude, we're talking about size. So in this case here, we're starting out in nanometers, but if we look at our answer choices, they all have meters. So what we need to do is we need to convert nanometers two meters, and in this case here, a nanometer is equal to 10 to the negative nine meters, which means our correct answer is choice D in this case. Problem three, a swimming pool is rectangular in shape. Which of the following units represents the capacity of the pool? Is it A, square meters, B, cubic meters, C, feet, or D, meters? All right, so when we're talking about capacity, we're talking about volume, all right? So in this case here, it says that the swimming pool is rectangular in shape. So the volume of a rectangular prism would be length times width times height. So we have three dimensions here. So feet and meters are just measuring in one dimension. So I'm gonna eliminate those choices. Square meters would be area two dimensions, so I'm gonna eliminate square meters. So the correct answer here would be the volume being measured in cubic meters. So the capacity would be in cubic meters. Problem four, in a positively skewed data set, which of the following statements best describes the relationship between the mean, median, and mode? All right, so what do we mean by a positively skewed data set? So if we think about our normal distribution curve, in a positively skewed data set, the values are going to be clustered on the lower end, and it's going to have a longer tail on the, the higher values. So what effect does that have on the mode, median, and mean? Well, because we are extending out that positive side of the higher values, what's going to happen is that's going to drag the mean with it. So the mean is going to be the bigger than the median, all right? So we know that the mean has to be greater than the median. So anyone that has the median greater than the mean, we're gonna eliminate 
Okay, so choices A and B are eliminated. So the correct answers can be between choice C and D. Well, in this case here, the mean is always going to be greater than the mode in a positively skewed data set. So that means that choice D is eliminated. So in this case here, the correct answer would be choice C. The mean would have to be greater than the median and greater than the mode. That concludes our Praxis Algebra 1 video exam code 5162, number and quantity, probability and statistics. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.